Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking With Plants and welcome to my kitchen. If you're a regular subscriber, as always, it's fantastic to have you here. And if you're new to the channel and this is your first time stopping by, then welcome and feel free to browse all of my various recipes and videos. I've been doing these videos since 2012. So there's a large collection of tips, tricks, ideas and recipes here for you. Now, one of the tricks that I want to touch on today, which I haven't covered on the channel, is using ice cubes to preserve food and to have different leftovers that you can use in smoothies or in soups and different types of dishes. So I want to cover off on that. I do dive deeper into this in my meal prep made easy course and I'll leave a link to that below if you are interested in that. But for now, let's get into the ideas of things that you can use ice cubes for. So one of the main things that I like to do is to put fruit into my ice cubes. And then I will use those ice cubes either in my drinks or throw them into smoothies for a slightly creamier and cooler uh, texture and consistency. So things like banana, things like mango, so these are just frozen mangoes that I've actually popped into the ice cubes. But if I have fresh mango on hand, I'll chop that up and I'll put that into ice cubes. And it just tastes amazing. And like I said, you can throw it into smoothies as well. So you've got that fruit ready to go. And depending on if you're going to use the ice cubes in a drink versus a smoothie, you might want to put more or less of the actual fruit into your ice cubes. So the other thing I like to do is things like mint, putting that into water and then freezing it is absolutely amazing. Again, great in drinks and also great in smoothies. Another thing that I really love to do with fruit is to use the peel and the rind and freeze that. So if I have some lemon that I'm juicing, for example, I'll chop up the rind and put that into water and then freeze that as ice cubes. Again, either as drink coolers or in my smoothies. The rind is actually very nutritious. It's very good for us. The bitterness of the lemon is good for our digestive system. So it's great to throw a couple of these into a smoothie as well. And it gives a really nice flavor and tang to your smoothie, depending on how much you use. If you only use one or two, you may not even taste it in there, depending on what you're blending up. So again, I love to do it with lemons, limes, oranges, even using the lemon juice sometimes and the orange juice to make stronger versions. So instead of using water as the liquid, you use the juice of the fruit and put it in. It absolutely tastes amazing and it's a great way for getting a little bit more longevity out of your fruit. So just a few other liquids that I like to use for freezing my fruits in are, for example, coconut water or pineapple juice is delicious also, apple juice, any type of juice and mixed in with fruit is great to freeze and then use for smoothies. So some of my favorite fruits that I like to put into the water and then freeze are things like mango, banana chunks, some apple pieces, some pear pieces. I love cherries, so quite often I'll buy frozen cherries and then put them into the water as well. So the options are absolutely endless. So that is the fruit side of some ideas that I like to use ice cube trays for. Now, another thing that I like to use ice cube trays for is, for example, tomato paste. Now, if you have it in a jar and you leave it in the fridge, it tends to get moldy quite quickly. So one idea is you can turn that jar upside down so the air is at the opposite end of the jar and you can open your lid and it won't be moldy most of the time. But if mold has already started to grow, it can still grow in there. So one thing I like to do is actually put my tomato paste into ice cube trays and then freeze it. So then whenever I need some, I can just pop it out of the tray or I empty what I've frozen and put it into a Ziploc bag. And then whenever I need a tablespoon or two of tomato paste, I can just take that out and throw it into whichever dish I'm using it for. So it's very quick and easy and it's a great saver of a tomato paste. The other thing I like to do is to get some vegetable broth or leftover vegetable stock and then freeze things like 
fresh herbs. So if I've got parsley or basil or rosemary or any type of herb, I just chop it up or sometimes I even leave the whole leaves and I push it into the vegetable stock, vegetable broth, and then I put it in the freezer and just freeze that and it just preserves it beautifully. And then you can use it in soups, for example, or if you're making a curry or some sort of casserole, then you can just pop those out and put them straight into that dish. And you've got fresh herbs that come back to life when they're in your dish and when they're cooking. So it's absolutely delicious. And again, you can just make a batch of those and then just pop it out into a Ziploc bag and keep it there. Another thing you could do is just pulse up or blend up your herbs and mix them with a little bit of lemon juice. And again, if you wanted to add a little bit of the broth in as well, you could do that and then just use that liquid and pour that straight into your ice cube tray as well. So there's a few options there. And like I said, I dive deeper into meal prep and preserving foods and saving foods so they don't go off in the fridge, how to store them in the fridge and the freezer and a lot of meal ideas and ways you can use vegetables and also how you can cook for your whole family, not just if they're plant-based, but also if you have meat eaters in the house. Lots of tips and tricks in my meal prep made easy course. So if you are interested in that, you can actually use the code ICECUBE50, so ICECUBE50, and you will actually get 50% off that course. So it's absolutely amazing. It's helped thousands of people to get in and out of the kitchen faster and with delicious, healthy, plant-based meals. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave that link below. And don't forget to use that code for 50% off. So I hope you enjoyed these quick ideas about how you can start using your ice cube trays to preserve your foods and to add flavor into your drinks and your smoothies and your soups, etc. And I look forward to seeing you next time for another recipe. See you soon. Bye for now.